Hello. This part of the course, this little video explains how to play a pitch pipe. First of all, what is a pitch pipe? It's an instrument that's used by singers mostly, uh, who are singing in an a cappella group. An a cappella means a, a group that's uh, a vocal group unaccompanied by instruments. So in order to get their starting pitches, they go to the pitch pipe and then they can all sing in the same key. So a chromatic pitch pipe has all of the notes uh, within one octave represented. So there are 12 notes represented on this pitch pipe. C, this is the low C and this is the high C. Low C, high C, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, all of the notes up to the repeating C at the top of the octave. And underneath each note name is a hole that you blow into. It makes it uh, very easy. You can't possibly play a wrong note. You look at the note C and you go blow that hole. And that's the note C. Alright, so that's a chromatic pitch pipe. Now when I play the pitch pipe, you'll notice that I have all of my fingers, fingertips here, on the top of the pitch pipe and my thumbs are touching on the bottom. This is because many of the energy meridians of your body end in your fingertips. Also, many of the energy meridians of your body end in your lips, which is why I love to use the pitch pipe. You're not only playing the sound and hearing the sound, you're feeling the vibrations in your fingertips and they're going into the energy meridian systems of your body and you're feeling the vibrations in your lips uh, again, where a lot of your energy meridians end. So it's a great way to get the power of the sound really into your system. The chromatic pitch pipe. Now, the way to get a nice, long, sustained sound, you, you have to take a deep breath. And most of us uh, don't use our lungs to the capacity that we're able. Most of us, as we're speaking, we're taking shallow breaths that are just kind of filling up the upper part of our lungs here. In order for the pitch pipe to really work, we have to be able to sustain a sound for at least 10 seconds, between 10 and 15 seconds, for it to be useful to the body. So taking a deep breath is very important to this part of the course. How do you take a deep breath? What's the best mechanism to use? A system that the body already has in place. It's called a yawn. Yeah. So all you have to do is simulate, as you're taking this deep breath, you want to simulate a yawn. So what happens when you're yawning? If you feel what's going on in the back of your mouth, your tongue is low in the back of your mouth and the back of your uh, throat is wide open so that you can gulp in air without any resistance. All right, so let's practice taking a deep breath. When you can play a note for that length, then it's really going to be helpful for you. And it, it's about really engaging your um, the diaphragm muscle, which sits underneath your lungs and kind of um, on top of the abdominal cavity. It's, it's kind of like an upside-down salad bowl. You can think of it that way. And as your lungs expand, the diaphragm muscle contracts like that, or, or the uh, diaphragm muscle expands like that and to make room for the air to come into the lungs, for the lungs to expand. And now that you've taken that deep breath, you can use the diaphragm muscle to push the air up out of the lungs, and you can have some control over how fast and how much air comes out. But if you don't take a deep enough breath and you don't engage that diaphragm muscle, you won't be able to sustain the note long enough or to have any control over um, the speed of how the air comes out of your lungs. So let's do it one more time. We're going to, you know, breathe into our bellies, relax your bellies, relax your throats, and yawn.
That's how you play a note on the pitch pipe.